Hi, this is Steve at blessedhopeforever.com. We're going to be talking about a date that I believe is worth paying attention to, and that is September the 18th of this year. To me, it's more than a date. It's a, it's a hypothesis. Uh, Webster's Dictionary defines a hypothesis as a supposition or a proposed explanation explanation made on the basis of limited evidence as a starting point for further investigation. Ever since I started putting out timelines, uh, I've always had in mind that I was going to, for each year, I, I was probably going to do two, one in the spring, one in the fall, and, and I would outline what I believed would be the most uh, rational, logical, sensible, mathematical timeline, and that based upon the Lord's returning on a specific start date. And I would go from the start date to the finish date, the second coming or the kingdom, and, uh, and I would show how that I thought that was better than any one of the other 364 dates in the, in the calendar year. There's a lot of talk about Feast of Trumpets this year, uh, September the 28th. Uh, it's Feast of Trumpets. Uh, Mark Blitz, a uh, number of other watchmen are, are looking at that date. Uh, a Feast of Trumpets uh, this year, fall of 2022, as being a potential rapture date. I have a little trouble with the church being so related to Israel, and so I'm going to explain why I believe September, there's good reason why to, that at least for me to believe that September 18th is an, an exciting day to look forward to this year. It's uh, let's just suppose the rapture took place on September the 18th. Ten days after that, well, is the 28th. Uh, that's the Feast of Trumpets. Now, Christ ascended. Uh, we ascend at the rapture, and ten days later is Feast of Trumpets. Uh, Christ ascended, and the Holy Spirit came ten days later, and the church begins. So we ascend, uh, the Holy Spirit comes ten days later, and the tribulation begins. Uh, so the tribulation is, in effect, heralded in by a Feast of Trumpets. Now, I got this by constructing the timeline, uh, working the timeline backwards. Uh, I started with Trumpets of 2029, uh, the Feast of Trumpets, and I worked backwards to September 18, 2022. Uh, it's a day of zero significance on the, on the Hebrew calendar. Uh, Calendar-wise, it's just a day of non-significance. And I think that's interesting because I, I've always thought the Lord must return on a Pentecost or a Feast of Trumpets or, or something. Now I'm thinking a little more outside the box, and I'm going to suggest that maybe that might not be the case, and He may return on a day of no significance and catch us all by surprise, or at least catch the world by surprise, most Christians by surprise, and that's not doesn't say we can't know that we're in the, the season of his return, but the actual date could catch us by surprise, and that being September 18, because if we go from September 18 through the timeline, we wind up at Feast of Trumpets in 2029. If there's a rapture on the Feast of Trumpets this year, then you go the correct number of days forward, and the second coming would occur on the Day of Atonement in 2029, and Christ would miss Feast of Trumpets, and it wouldn't be fulfilled until the following year in the fall of 2030. That's how the math works out. If you want to get excited about a Feast of Trumpets rapture this year in 2022, uh, uh, more power to you, all right? Just know that there are a specific number of days in a timeline and if you go along that timeline, you have Christ returning on the Day of Atonement. The Feast of Trumpets is missed 
Now you could argue that the church being raptured on a Feast of Trumpets, that fulfilled Feast of Trumpets. You could make that argument. I do not believe that that's the case. What I find more interesting is backing up from the Feast of Trumpets in 2029 back to September 18th is quite intriguing. 9-18, September 18th this year. That is uh, the first day of the week. It's a Sunday, the Sabbath being Saturday. Sunday's the first day of the week. Christ rose on the first day of the week. Many would be in church. We're looking at a rap potential possible rapture date, September 18, which is a Sunday, in which many people would be in church. As I mentioned, a trumpet's rapture this year would see Christ return on the Day of Atonement in 2029. That's interesting, but I just do not see how that Christ could miss trumpets in 2029 that Feast of Trumpets lying inside the tribulation period prior to his return, leaving it unfulfilled until the year 2030, almost a year later. But I will say that, in, at least in my opinion, the 18th of September, as well as the 28th of September, Feast of Trumpets, they uh, are both high watch dates, as far as I'm concerned, but I'm leaning toward 918 and here's why uh, 918 to the midpoint just happens to be April Fool's Day uh, slash Passover of 2026 Passover of 2026 April Fool's Day and Passover April 2 it's always a, a, a two-day thing okay uh, we're never li really looking at a day, just like September 18. It could be 18 or 19. It's always a, we always have a two-day window. And so uh, if the rapture occurs this September 18, you're looking at a midpoint, which would land precisely on Passover or within a day of it, or April Fool's, April Fool's Passover 2026. And I find that interesting. That's perfect for the abomination of desolation. And as well as April Fool's Day, because the fool says in his heart, there is no God. Now what really makes it interesting is that if you go on forward to the second coming date, it gives you a second coming date of Christ's birthday, Jesus' birthday on a 9-11, a September 11th, which is a Feast of Trumpets. The Feast of Trumpets, trumpets in 2029 is on a September 11th, his birthday. Now, I've done a number of videos on why I believe that September 11th is his birthday, uh, but this is what the math is showing uh, me here. He would return on his birthday on a Feast of Trumpets on 9-11 of 2029 if we were raptured September 18th of this year. If we were raptured on Feast of Trumpets this year, that he would not return on his birthday. Is he would miss his birthday, he would miss, miss the Feast of Trumpets in 2029, leaving it to be unfulfilled until the year 2030, the fall of 2030. If we go on forward with our calculations, the Kingdom Age would begin inside the eight days of Hanukkah. In fact, to be more precise, it'd be the fourth day of Hanukkah. And so the Kingdom Age would begin inside the eight day uh, celebration of Hanukkah. Now that's how the math works out. So I'm leaning really hard on the rapture being on September 18th. I may even take the day off. Uh, this is a personal conviction. This is, this is not, uh, I'm not by any means saying that this is what is going to take place. But as far as all of the facts I've given you, as far as the math goes, the dates are concerned, uh, this timeline, just like any other, uh, you can't dispute the math, you can't dispute the dates, therefore the timeline is flawless. It's just up to what God whether or not you know, He uh, chooses to use that or not. Uh, to me, it's just another perfect timeline. It is a bulletproof timeline. I don't mind saying that. When I say that, when I say it's a bulletproof timeline, what I'm saying is that you can't show me where the dates that I've given are wrong or the number of the day counts that I've given 
are incorrect. So I'm leaning hard on September 18th being the day the Lord takes me home. Uh, if you want to join in with me and, and, and hoping for that, uh, I, that would be great. If you do not, then that's fine too. A rapture on September 18th were that His second coming would be on a feast of trumpets, not the rapture. Sometimes we need to think outside the box. It's just wonderful that we've got two dates this September to look forward to, September 18 and as well as September 28. I love you all. I truly do. Thanks for listening. Uh, we'll be going back now into our study in 1 Corinthians. Uh, love you all. Truly do. Thank you for watching.